Now, let's turn our attention to throughput. Unlike latency, which focuses on a single event's duration, throughput measures the amount of work a system can handle over a given period. It's about quantity, not speed for a single item. Imagine a highway. Latency is how long it takes for one car to get from point A to point B, while throughput is how many cars can pass through a specific point on that highway per hour. In computing, throughput is often expressed as requests per second, data transferred per second, or transactions processed per minute. For instance, a database's throughput might be 10,000 queries per second. High throughput is vital for systems that need to process large volumes of data, or many concurrent requests like e-commerce platforms during a sale, or big data processing pipelines. It's about maximizing the total capacity. So, how do latency and throughput relate? It's crucial to understand they are not interchangeable, though often confused. They're independent metrics, meaning you can have high throughput with high latency, or low latency with low throughput, and vice versa. Consider a very wide but slow highway. Many cars can pass, high throughput, but each car takes a long time to travel, low latency. Conversely, a very fast single lane road might get one car through quickly, low latency, but can't handle many cars simultaneously, low throughput. Optimizing for one often impacts the other. For instance, adding more parallel processing units might increase throughput, but could also introduce coordination overhead, potentially increasing latency for individual tasks. The key is to understand which metric is most critical for your specific use case.